Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit your uh, active centralized control policy that is um, applied to your uh, vSmart and uh, actively working. This is my vManage dashboard. I'll go to configuration and check the policy. So right now I have one uh, policy, this is dynamic on-demand uh, tunnel policy which is true, that is activated. I just uh, give a preview of this policy. So in this policy, if I, I want to add any new site into this site list, I will show you how to do that. Let's say in this topology, uh, kind of urban spoke topology, I have VH1, 2, 3 with corresponding site ID 10, 20 and 30. It's already active and running. Let's say a new CH4 come to the, the same overlay uh, topology. And if I want to add this uh, CH4 into this existing policy, which is uh, having site ID 40, I'll show you how to do that. So in current uh, policy, which is active, only three sites are there, 10, 20, and 30. So if we see uh, the main dashboard, I have this CH4 with the site ID 40 that I'm going to add now. So I will show you how to do that. Let's go to your policies. So in the policies, in the top right side, uh, you can see custom options. Click on that. Uh, the policy that we applied is a centralized policy. So click on uh, this centralized policy. Click on this list because that is where we add our uh, VPN, log site details. So in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to add a new site. So I'm going to click on site. So this is the all spoke site that which I already added with uh, uh, site ID 10, 20 and 30 already entered. I'm going to click on edit this. I'm going to add a uh, site ID 40 into this site list, all spoke sites and then save. So you can see it is uh, asking now activate policy. Policy will be applied to the reachable device 222. Uh, this 2.2.2.2 .2 is nothing but my vSmart. Now I'm going to click on activate. You can see it's getting pushed to your vSmart. So vSmart, I'm just clicking that and going to check the config difference just to see uh, what exact configuration change we are doing. So I click on config difference. And you can see under uh, policy list, site list, a site ID 40 is getting added. I'm going to click on configure device now. And the validation is success. It's generating the config. It's pushing the config now. Yeah, so right now the template uh, configuration is pushed successfully. Now let's go back to uh, configuration policies. The active one is this last one. I'm going to preview this. Just to confirm uh, the site ID 40 is added. So this is about adding this, uh, changing, uh, you know, the site list and VPN list in case if you have added. And if you want to make any changes on the root filter, that also you can do. You have to go under this uh, customs option, under centralized policy, click on topology. Uh, we have to select which topology that is getting applied in your active one. The active one is uh, dynamic on-demand tunnel uh, configuration. So this is the topology which is active now. I'm going to just click on this, edit. And you, here you can see the um, uh, the root filter configurations. Uh, if you want to add a new root filter, you can click on sequence and click root and then uh, do that. Or if you want to make any changes to the existing one, like for example, I have given accept option here. If you want to edit this and uh, instead of accept, if you want to reject, you can do that. And you can just simply, okay, I have not saved it. So I have to just click on, I just, uh, instead of accept, I just clicked on reject. You have to save this. 
so once I saved you can just click on control po save control policy you can see again it will get um, applied to your vsmod check on the config difference you can see so it is re removing this accept and then adding this reject statement so when I click on config device it will get pushed I'm not pushing this so like that uh, you can whenever you want to change this um, uh, active policy uh, you can always click on this custom options if you want to edit your uh, VPN T log uh, site details you can always go under this custom option and then list or if you want to change the uh, existing root filter or T logs you can always go under this topology and uh, select uh, the topology which you want to uh, change if you want to know which topology uh, the active con centralized control policy is using you can always check that uh, you can go under policies uh, under the active policy click on this right click and then just give edit and you can find uh, if you click in the top you can see you can click on topology and you can see this is the active topology that has been uh, called under this particular uh, centralized policy so once you know this you can uh, go back to policies and go under this custom option topology because there will be multiple topologies which might have been using uh, you know for different uh, uh, centralized policy so this one you can see here this is the one which we saw now you can click on this and then edit so that's the procedure how you can edit your um, active centralized policies you just have to go to uh, configuration policies and um, click on these custom options under centralized policy list topology you can change and also localized policy list and forwarding access list whatever you want to change you can change that thanks for watching the video have a nice day